Somebody loves his snacks, don't you? I'm always happy when I got my snackies. He's like, high five, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do, do, do. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can give me oh, a Oh, you're you sharing. Can. That's you nice. Is that your favorite? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got strawberries and cheese. He's so bougie. So this is my very favorite. <laughs> strawberries and cheese. Good morning, guys. Hey guys. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Uh, we've just really been enjoying a slower paced day today, which is awesome because we don't get a lot of those. And uh, we got to sleep in. And Steven actually got to sleep in, which is very rare for him. A little bit. A little bit. You're always doing something. Always it's true. busy. Yeah. But it was nice. But we actually do have a few things planned today because we close on our house in a week and a half. So yeah. we're doing some packing and Get it's ready to go. Yeah. And it's a gorgeous day outside. We told the kids that we would go to the pool later today because we've driven by a few times and there are people swimming because this is Texas and it's warm outside. Yeah, so it's like 90 outside, I think, today. I told them, I was like, if we can get some packing done, we will go to the pool today. So we're nice looking forward. Nice little incentive to work hard. Yeah, totally. Our kids love to swim. So we're going to get going on this packing. Cannot wait to move into our new home soon. Yeah. Uh, before we do that, we want to show you guys a clip that we took this morning of Lincoln because he is making so much progress. Working so hard. Yeah, he um, he was practicing in his walker today. So um, the walker that we had custom made for him, it's actually scheduled to be delivered in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And there has been some delays with insurance and just various things, but it's finally almost ready to be delivered. So we're super thankful for that. May 15th. Yes, yeah, it'll said, be so. delivered to our new house the week after we get in. And mm -hmm. so um, his therapist sent home a practice walker, just a small uh, kind of basic one, but something that will help him be on his feet walking more. Yep. And so we've been practicing that at home. And uh, so we took a little clip this morning. We want to include that here real quickly before we move on to packing. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Watch this. Aww. He's so proud. It's like, yeah. You're going to be running around in no time. Good job, Lincoln. It. We're so proud of you, buddy. We're so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, walk to Jude. Go, dude. You got it, dude. You are so strong. Good job. You got it, dude. You are so strong. You got this, man. Blue. You did it, Lincoln. I know that was oh so God. many. Oh, so, there we go. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm done. Good job, Linky. I'm so proud of you. Good job. We got these mugs as a wedding present. We'll be married 16 years on May 17th. And uh, we still have two left from the set. <laughs> Which was a set of eight, I believe. But like they're all like. But they still got some chips and stuff. Yeah. Well, a few moves. Yeah. yeah. But I like them. <laughs> you know, moving time is one of those times where I always kind of reevaluate, like, why do we accumulate so many things, and why do we have so many things, and half of these things we don't even use on a regular basis. And so, I know um, that the word minimalism is kind of thrown around a lot lately, but. I really want to become a more minimalistic family and just get rid of stuff that we're not using or that we um, that doesn't really serve a purpose and just simplify our lives. And so I'm determined. I don't think half of this stuff is going to make it with us to the new house. And um, especially all these mugs. Like, like who needs this many mugs? And that's not all of them. That's just some of them. That's just a lot of them. Although some of these, it's hard to part with some of these. We're mugs. not going to part with that. That's this is from China, and we got that in Lincoln's province when we adopted him. So a lot of these, it is hard because, you know, you have sentimental value um, attached to a lot of these items. And so I'm going to find that line between holding on to things you don't use and keeping the things that really matter. Oh, you guys are so cute. You're so cute. Gentle. <laughs> So I think our goal today is going to be to get maybe half of the kitchen packed up. Obviously, we still need to use some of these things for the next 
10 days or so. That may be your goal for today. But my goal today is to keep the tiny humans alive. I love that mug. I got that at Christmas time. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good one. one. We're not getting rid of that mug. This all needs to go. I know, no judgment guys, but this crash. is our Tupperware. I didn't even realize <sighs> it. There's like all these lids that don't match. Yeah. It's just like, why do we have all this? And the thing is, I've organized it like 12 times, but it only takes a couple of days. Week. You organize it every week. And I it's know. just back to this disarray. Anybody else so have Tupperware quickly. cabinets that look like this? This is I terrible. This is not good. <sighs> Things that are not going to the house with us. Throw it all out. Trash it all. of ridiculousness. I mean, we use a lot of vitamins and natural medicine, herbs, that kind of thing, and then just cooking spices. But it's kind of ridiculous how much stuff is in there and stresses me out to just look at it. So we're gonna get all of this cleared out. It's getting out of hand. Do you have any tips on how to organize and just keep things like in control? I just feel like it quickly in our family of nine just gets out of control with so many things thrown in there and I gotta figure out a better way to do things. For all these soy sauce packets. <laughs> You're doing that to drive me crazy. <laughs> oh my god, stop! We've got some stevia. Oh my god. How about this roll Send of, help. How about this roll of chalkboard calendar stickers? Oh my gosh, Steven, you're gonna knock this over! Oh my gosh. So Kira just came back home. She's been hanging out with some friends, doing like a cool field trip in Austin, right? And you're not actually staying, are you? You're just picking up some clothes and heading back out again. Yep. It's gonna be fun. Me and Liam are organizing our toys because we're moving next week. We're gonna like organize it so it all fits in the box, right? Yeah. I put the big things. I think these will have to be like in a big box. Yeah. That Amazon box in there. That's a huge gun. Yeah. I have ten dollars. No, a hundred dollars. I have a hundred dollars. I'm rich. Liam's also trying out some stuff, huh? <laughs> and here's Dad with our box. Hi. Are you doing it with that on? Yeah, Liam's yeah. trying out some stuff. This one first, because it's flat. Jude, you're, you're like the Tetris master, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys excited to swim? Yeah! Woo! Jazz hands. <laughs> Look at how excited Steven is to swim, guys. I have the jazz hands. That's how excited <laughs> I am. And I'm ready to swim. Yeah, spirit you fingers. are. Let's do spirit uh, fingers. This is, <laughs> this is how excited we are to swim, guys. We've got spirit fingers. All of us have the spirit fingers because we're so excited to go into the pool. Oh my god. Woo! Oh my god. After you, wonderful people. What are you wearing? This is my shawl of honor. Lincoln, you ready? You gonna swim in the water? Look at you looking handsome. Yay! <laughs> this is the first time for him to use a life jacket, but after the Easter episode where he was splashing so hard that he went in, we figure this is probably a little bit safer to do. Yeah. Let's try. Let's go. <laughs> what do you think of that, dude? <laughs> you gonna get it? Ah, oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what is it? A ladybug. Oh, it died. It went swimming too much, huh? Is it cold? It's cold, huh? No, don't splash mommy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's sweet, Penelope. Yay. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, was it fun? I got <laughs> So, Ethan, is it cold? Yes. How cold was it? So, so, so cold. So cold? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> How cold is it, Jude? Dang it. Uh, it's okay. Not too bad? I got in, it was really cold, and then I got used to it. You're numb now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you not know? I don't think he recognizes that it's me because I got the sunglasses on. Who's talking to you? Is it Mama? Is it Mama? <laughs> that is so funny. I don't think he really recognized who I was. Oh, Linky, it was pretty cold, but he does like the water, which is like pretty amazing because when we first um, adopted him and we were still in China, he would cry and cry. Um, every time we tried to get in the pool or baths, he hated the water. And um, so it's really cool to see him splashing around and having fun. I think it was a little bit too cold for him. He didn't tolerate it after a few minutes very well. But um, it is fun to, to play in the water and to see how much he enjoys it now. I saw my school friend. Oh, your friend from school's here? Cool. Oh, over there. <laughs> Ah, that was cool! I got it. I nice got job! It. Well done. <laughs> you see Mama's sunglasses? You see Mama's sunglasses? <laughs> see this? He's like, who? Who is that? What's on Mama's face, huh? Oh, that was a huge that? flip. Jude just did a huge flip. Oh my god. That was awesome. We missed it on camera. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Those flips were awesome, dude. Oh, that's so good. You got some serious air on those. Yeah. <laughs> You're so brave. Sun's going down. Today it's bedtime. But we had fun. Even though it was really cold water. <laughs> it was really cold water. But they get that blast, so. Yeah. They're having a blast. First swim of the sea. No, not the first swim. Yeah. We swam for Easter. That's true. It's the second yeah. swim of the season. I totally forgot about that. And uh, it was awesome. I, I would say it was a success. Yep. So we've got some food on the grill back at home. And we're going to go eat some dinner. Make some guacamole. Got to always make that guacamole. Hashtag classic dad move. You never get enough guacamole. Never enough guac. It's never enough. Guacamole! <laughs> we did say we'd post the guacamole recipe. I yeah, know a lot of you guys I, asked yeah. about that. So we'll post that yeah. in the comments below on this video. <laughs> and it's, it's like I don't actually use recipes, but I'll try my best to make one up. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.